All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. Today, we are looking at a new Red Eyes card. Yes, Red Eyes got another new card, which is nice, because they really needed it. Like, Red Eyes it is not that good of a deck. And I, I must admit that it really is not, you know. that Some of their monsters are lackluster. Their traps are lackluster. Their spells. I mean, yeah, you know, the whole deck is just a conglomeration of meh. So, of course, one of the best plays it has is that Red Eyes Fusion. You bust that out, and, I mean, you get their 200 mateys that burns your opponent for, like, 24. I mean, that, that's great on top of your battle damage. So, you already know it's putting in work. But outside of that, it's just kind of meh. So, they got a new support card here. This is Red Eyes Insight. And um, it makes the deck just a tiny bit better, you know? It helps you get to that fusion. But overall, they still need a lot stronger card. So let's go ahead and look at this card. So this is Red Eyes Insight. It's a normal spell card that reads, Send one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Ah, that's powerful. That's powerful. If it was just hand, this card wouldn't be nearly as good. Because, of course, you would neck. You would play this, send the Red Eyes monster from your hand, and then let me read the rest of the effect. Add one Red Eyes spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Except for Insight, you're going to activate one Red Eyes Insight per turn. So, if you're just from hand, you play this, you send the Red Eyes monster from your hand, you get your spell. You would neck, you would neck. And, you know, for a searcher of your Red Eyes and Red Eyes spell and trap sets, I mean, yeah, you know, you can get Red Eyes Fusion. That, that alone is just enough to be like, yeah, you know what, that, that's pretty power. That is pretty power. But no, you can just send a Red Eyes monster from your deck. Therefore, it's a one for one, you're evening out. So essentially, you're just trading this spell card in for another Red Eyes spell trap by simply sending a Red Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. And you can send, you know, just Red Eyes himself. You can send, uh, you can even send freaking Red Eyes Darkness Metal. You know, you can put that in the graveyard. So that's pretty powerful too. Go ahead and grab generally Red Eyes Fusion because, you know, the, some of the rest of it's, eh. It's, uh, you can grab your Red Eyes Transmigration, so you can go ahead and maybe uh, throw in a little bit of that uh, Lord of Red, but, you know, pre-prep is, is there for that, so that's also nice. Uh, also, your uh, your level 4 Ritual Monster, who summons Redim, so him to tribute to summon a Red Eyes from your deck, therefore Redim, and then Redim will summon him back. Uh, so that's one of the plays that you can do. Uh, of course, Red Eyes Fusion. Red Eyes Spirits, can I? You know, it's just kind of slow trap card. Red Eyes Burn, who plays that? Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play that. And Return of the Red Eyes, so uh, that's the other trap card that you generally see. But, you know, I, 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 I think it's great. It's awesome that you get to go ahead and add a Red Eyes Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand by simply just sending a Red Eyes Monster, preferably from your deck. I mean, you don't want to take the neck from your hand. Keep your keep your resources. But from your deck, it's a one-for-one. One. Go ahead and get that Red Eyes Fusion. They just need better spells and traps. Like... If this is literally all they're getting, like, this is the only card that Red Eyes is getting, and they're not getting anything else, and that's it, they're done, like, Konami's like, hey, we gave you some more support, here's one card, we're done, we're stepping away from you, then Red Eyes is still gonna be crap. Like, it needs more, it needs better traps, it needs better spells. The monsters, they're still kind of lackluster, but it still kind of fits the theme, but, you know, and even then, still with Red Eyes Fusion, you gotta throw in Summon Skull, so you gotta run this 25 vanilla, it's like, and then Red Eyes, it's just a 2400 vanilla, your Gemini monster's kinda eh, I don't see anybody running that uh, that Archfiend guy, that Gemini Archfiend, so I don't see any of that. Uh, you know, your Agus, your, I mean, your Agus, Blackstone is still super expensive, you can't send Blackstone, that'd be kinda cool, but, you know, you can't send Blackstone. But uh, Blackstone's still super expensive. You know, it's super secret rate. It's hard to get your hands on. So that's good. Your Black Metal Dragon, he's good. But, you know, it's just a handful of cards. But just the fact that you can get Red Eyes Fusion quicker. So pretty much the same thing. You're running six Red Eyes Fusions instead of three. Because, of course, you can search out Red Eyes Fusion. It helps the deck a lot. But still not good enough. Still not good enough. So, uh, really, that's all I have to say. I kind of wish there was more I could talk about. But... They just don't have enough <laughs> red eye spells, spells and traps to make uh, the card worth talking on it for a long amount of time. Just grab your red eyes fusion. That's all I can really say. Even when I played red eyes on daily duels, it was kind of like, okay, well, my red eyes plays are kind of mad. Ah, red eyes fusion. Go ahead and fusion seven from the deck like shit all and bust out this 3200 on maybe. Let's go. But outside of that, it's just meh. So tell me what you guys think about red eyes insight in the comments below. And tell me what you guys think about just the red eyes, you know. Uh, remake archetype in general. You know, they remade our eyes, they gave it uh, red eyes, they got a whole bunch of shit, and then still it's just kind of meh. So, you know, like I said, a couple more spells and traps, and I'd be I'd be a lot more thankful. I really would, you know. Um, their trap card that revives red eyes is kind of slow, so maybe like a spell card, but I guess 
technically you could use gospel for the regular red eyes it's a level seven dragon but you know i was thinking something more for a quicker for red like you know revive red like revive red eyes like a like a spell card revive red eyes red eyes dark with metal summon back a dragon during your turn it's a little bit faster than you know spirit is slow as a trap card so all right i'm done so thanks for watching tech support and i will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at all right people thanks for watching